like segueing to dead side now i never thought would do good on my channel um but for some reason when i posted a dead side video like a couple months ago i hit like thirteen thousand views and i was very shocked to see that but i guess dead side is another game where it's an early access game but it also has like a dedicated community and very very like there are going to be those 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 chad guys that just like you know tear you down if you don't play the game right but from what i've seen on um on reddit and uh and like the different communities on that side it seems like everyone's very open to like new players coming in and, and trying to learn the game as well too so it's nice to see that especially in the game that's somewhat similar to like daisy and tarkov and Rust, where like m- some of those games have like no toxic communities mm-hmm. especially like you know rust and stuff like that so it's nice to see that especially from an open world survival game how yeah, I'm long has to... that been in in early access by the way 2020 really okay wow mm-hmm. i, I mean, played the game it looks then. great did you really yeah it looks amazing yeah. i'm i'm yeah, checking it runs it, I on, it on the my other under engine 4 oh wow i'm trying mm-hmm. to get i'm trying to get my buddies to get back into it we've been playing like a lot of tarkov and i cuz we we all played it together uh back when it was like first released and I, i'm trying to get him to play it again cuz i i want to see like what's all changed and stuff with it you can do first person servers can't you you can do first person only third person only first and third person so you can switch back and oh, forth wow. um that's, that's cool and uh, since 2020, there has been a pretty good amount of updates. I think I counted, like, I went back and, like, counted every single, like, major update. There's been, like, 12 pretty major updates since 2020 with, like, a couple little hot fixes in between. Um, and they're they're just continuing to, like, it's not as fast as some people might want, but it's steady progress on and the I'm, game. I'm sure it's, like, good, it's good updates, too, right? It's not just throwing yeah. filler stuff out there that, you know, potentially... To break the game, the game and stuff backwards. like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. so like that's why a lot of people were like, you know, where the the biggest uh people thing that a lot of people are hoping for is uh vehicles eventually put into the game, yeah, but bro. at the same time they they have to get all the back end stuff first because games like DayZ put in vehicles back in the day way too early and they were just very buggy. They would mm-hmm. just fly all over the place, and that's what they're hoping not to do. I I assume they've made the yeah, map I think quite it's a bit like, bigger, it's, haven't they? A good amount, yeah. Um, I think it was God, what was it? Two hundred and fifty kilometers, I think, in the game. Wow. Around that, possibly. Eesh. Might be more or less, but um Oh. Um I'm sorry, someone's about to someone's walking in. All good. Um, so I'm playing uh your your video on screen right now. I hope that's all right. Um that's fine. <laughs> Uh yeah, Blue's channel is in the description, guys. Definitely go copy uh, copyright him strike him. Yeah, he's uh, gonna DMCA my channel. <laughs> um, so yeah, but definitely give him a follow. Uh, in the podcast notes and everywhere, we'll have his channel to go check him out. Did you color grade this footage? Did, like, did you change the colors at all? I did. I did. I do. Okay. I do color grade a lot of my stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. It seemed. It Actually, seemed like all a, my videos, I color graded. Yeah. It's just. You. It's the. It's like the 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 small amount of work to separate you from like ninety nine percent of other creators is to color correct. Add it maybe a bit more sharpening, you know, just yeah. just to make no, it man. seem, you know, yeah. When I did when I did video work too, color grading was my favorite. Um, that's why um, that's what I did for uh, some other production houses. I kind of like subbed out the color grading, like they'd send it to me, and like I studied color mm-hmm. theory. It's super cool because like it's something Dude, that so, you don't uh, think about. It's funny, well, because uh, so I forgot to say, I went to film school after I left the military. So oh, wow. I started first like game design for a little bit and then I switched over to film school and then video video editing was like I wanted to become a film editor for a while. Nice. So anything along with that was always my my go to. That's why I love sitting down behind the timeline and stuff like that and working. I think I, I can relate to that. I think I'm pretty similar. I didn't go to school. I self taught everything, but yeah, I loved I mean, most, I like- Yeah, a lot of it's definitely from YouTube for sure. I think most of my <laughs> knowledge is more from YouTube than actual school time. Yep. But color grading is like a like a a layer of storytelling that a lot of people don't know. And you can do a lot of stuff. You can take just normal footage and and completely change the mood and the feel of it and yeah. exactly. Yeah, because like without the color grading, like like that looking at that video, it, it's like a bit it's a it's kind of grayish. Yeah, if it's like the standard is like kind of like Tarkov, right? Like pretty, pretty desaturated, pretty gray and more realistic, very... almost. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess. See, like, this is all new. Like, this whole drop thing, this whole part of the map, I'd never seen when I played. Uh, the inventory looks mm-hmm. new, too. Completely new. Yeah, so now they just recently introduced a bunch of, like, you can uh, put guns with attachments in your inventory, in your stash. Um, where that wasn't a thing. You had to, like, separate each attachment, and then that would take each oh, slot. God. So now it's a lot better to store oh, stuff. Um, they increased uh, storage boxes for your base. They... Um, what else? They introduced one of the biggest things, like the re- like a workbench. Now, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. I want to try and, it again. Uh, yeah, a workbench. And right now, all you can do is like skin items, but there is an option for repair and disassemble. And then uh, I was actually talking to a little. Well, was, well, first I was watching uh another main content creator for Dead Side called Loaf. He's like the main guy, uh, for Dead Side pretty much, and um. He is now a game dev as well too. He, oh, wow. he was like content creator turned game dev. Like he learned how to game dev for this game, I think. And uh, he works on like a bunch of like weapon recoil and stuff like that. And uh, his Q and A was like, I'm think uh, I think weapon degradation is coming into the game, so it's a bit more of an interesting game loop. So instead of just picking up the best gun and just always using it forever, eventually you're gonna have to like repair your gun or it'll start degrading down the line and stuff like that. So. That's pretty cool. And this game has VoIP, right? It has proximity chat. It does have proximity chat. Yeah, yeah. it had That's it awesome. had it, it had proximity chat way before Tarkov did. I remember that because I remember <laughs> getting into Tarkov and being like, why can't I talk to people? Because there were some hilarious moments in this game. I remember when you just spawn in and you're naked running across and you hear somebody coming close and you try to like tell them not to kill you because you don't have anything. Yeah, it's like, hey, man, I'm, I'm new, I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> and you still get shot in the head, yeah. And you still Most get likely. shot, yeah. That's Most me likely. and Tarkov. When or they people like, don't realize they're talking to like an AI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Don't get shot like, man, that guy didn't say anything. He's such a, you know. <laughs> don't don't get me started on Tarkov, Boyp, and Scav, Karma, and getting betrayed. Oh my God, dude. Oh. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, it's cool. I like all this stuff I'm seeing is new. Like the bases, like you're sniping the guys out of the tower. Sorry, podcast listener, but you yeah, that's a but. that's a new. They got they added a new military base down south. It was a couple updates ago, but I mean, for people who haven't played since 2020, the game has changed a lot for sure. They've added airdrops, heli crashes, um, uh, different mission areas, different towns, um. They've added what else have they added? Uh, different weapons, of course. Um, different armor, different headgear. Heck, I mean, like different medical supplies. I believe uh, crafting systems is different. The base building system is completely different now too. So, yeah, you know, it's since twenty twenty, it's definitely changed. Yeah, I might, and, I might hop you know. in your server and try to chase you down. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like we I mean, we also got a server up too. That's kind of like I. I try to keep it more of like a casual uh, server because there definitely are just PvP only servers. If you just want to just go and kill everyone, but like for me, I like I like having like stories being told, um, yeah. and I like I like doing RP stuff too. So it's like a mix between RP and PvP. Mm-hmm. So like it's kind of more like DayZ, where like I know DayZ servers have like certain RP where it's like you can like rob somebody or you have like the cannibal crew running around just eating people and stuff like that. It's just <laughs> you know, so it's just like it's kind of like that where instead of like just getting sniped from across the map um that's you can't kos on a server so it's kind of like you have to like go up and like interact but if you're at a mission area um it's that's all right. hands on deck you shoot whoever you want that's right the i was gonna say i guess is the base building the same where you have to like wear a mouse button out to chop trees and then grab the timbers and all that so yeah so it used to be yeah, i used to you had to like make wood planks wood like you know you, you take the tree logs make the tree logs into you know wood planks make the wood planks into wood like scaffolding whatever it was like now it's it's just wood logs make everything so oh sweet it's still a bit of cho- it's, it's still a bit of chopping down trees um <laughs> but you don't have to be chopping down so many trees just to make up like <laughs> two things i guess i guess i can tell my story yeah so what i would do is like is when we started having to work from home right so like my mm-hmm. gaming PC is here and my work computer is here. So I would literally be doing work over here with this hand and then just up next to a tree, clicking the mouse button, not even looking at the screen, like <laughs> cutting trees down. Dude, like, and I'll be honest, a, a lot of people use auto clickers for that. 
I yeah, don't, I, I don't know if I'm to say that or not. But it's whatever. It's fine. It's just it's literally just for chopping down trees. Yeah, if you're just chopping trees, like whatever. Because I literally would just sit here and I would be watching videos or doing something else, and I would just be clicking my mouse. Like I have like my mouse up in my hand. I was just chopping trees all the time. All this, <laughs> all this and then I built this massive base, and I was all amped about it. And then two days later, yeah, they wiped I, it. Yeah. Oh, and that's the thing too so like on our server too usually like the default is like seven days and your base gets wiped so if you don't log it for seven days it's gone and i think that's a bit too short so I, you, the max i could bump it up to is 15. so because you know I, people I, might go on a vacation or something like that come back and the base could still be there or could be rated if you uh drop the rates up well so the thing also there's there's base rating too and it's not like you can't just leave and your base is gone actually the only way for your base to be gone is if you die and there's a certain chance that like a, a ray token drops on your body. So once they pick that up, it marks on the map for like everyone in a red circle. There's a raid happening in this circle or about oh, to for like, and then like the timer can be for like an hour. I think you could change it, but at default, it's like one hour. The circle stays up. Oh my gosh. All right. Mm -hmm. And then, and yeah. then that's when you use, and then you got to craft explosives, you know, and you got to set the, you got to, put them on the walls and the, and the cool thing too is that it doesn't destroy the entire structure it destroys the walls floors and doors so your scaffolding stays up oh that's cool so you don't have to read all that mm -hmm. so yeah you don't have to rebuild everything which is nice hmm. yeah that's pretty cool i need to download and just see what's up it'll be interesting where i've been playing a lot more tarkov just to see what it's like to go back oh. inside it might be yeah there's definitely still a lot of things i wish come came to the game i wish uh i so like I recently talked to some guys that are really heavy into dead side and I was talking about like mods as well too. And while mods aren't top priority, it's not off the list either. Mm -hmm. So if mods do eventually come to this game and I think not if it's more when, um, I think this game could start kicking, taking over a couple other games for sure. Cause I think I'm just tired of zombies in my opinion. Yeah, it's been done. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. Before not, we... I like extraction. Yeah, it's a cool game. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to redownload it. We should get it. We should get in there, buff. <laughs> but... If it'll run on my computer, I have to ask though, Blue. Is that is that a mm -hmm. Mosin with a hammer sight on it that you're running in this video? The the this video. I think it's no the mo. Is it a Mosin with a hammer sight? I think it was. I think it was. Oh my god! I think it is. Yeah, that's Which interesting. Just, I, I think. That I guess. Super. I think chat, I remember I love now. It. Now it is though. I think it's. Uh, I think you can only run the PU scope on it now. I don't think you can run the hammer sight on it on it anymore. I think it that's is. That's interesting. That's legendary. That's, that's funny, but it, it's cool too because eventually that hammer scope will have um, uh, a red dot attached to it on top because they have the model in the game. They just have to figure out. Oh, how it didn't have it the there. Inventory. Here? Yeah, it doesn't have oh, okay. an actual uh red dot on top. It just has like the the the, the holder hold. for it. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. So, dude, that's the worst in Tarkov. I would think I'd like have my hammer. I'm like, here I go, and then just like, there's no, I don't, I didn't put the the delta point in, in it, and I'm just like, oh yeah. god. I yeah, yeah, it's funny because on this game it's called a D point, but he has a delta point. That's, yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's yep. awesome. Yeah, it's I've funny done, all I... the all the guns in this is like the SVD is called a VSD or like. <laughs> <laughs> uh the ump the ump 45 is a umr 45 or something that's like that awesome. it's just you know I, I love that tarkov does that too with like the weird names like the slickers bar and the tarcola the, yeah and the yeah. bay ploy <laughs> magazines and yeah. I, think that's, that's, I love that stuff it's funny it makes you laugh but yeah i want to i want to try it out i've done that same thing buff you go into tarkov and you're like yeah you go into the options and check the key bind you're like how do i switch sites it's not working you don't realize i did that and like it's I, put, I would put it on like a really nice like AKM or something that I built that was like super expensive, <laughs> and I am like, here we go, just we're gonna run the Delta for a CQ, and then I don't have a Delta. And yeah, they got I, some. I they got some uh, custom uh, weapon customization now. They have like uh, muzzle brakes and like different levels of muzzle brakes as well too. They have um, magazines where uh, a buddy of mine thought like, oh, if I pick up a magazine, does it hold rounds? Like, no, it's just an extended magazine. Okay. So it holds like instead of 30 rounds, now it's 40 rounds. Um, nice. And then they have flashlights, of course, you can add on top or on the rail. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But they got some customization. It's like, a, again, it's like a, it's a, it's a survival game, but it's not really a survival game either because they also, they have a, a food and drink system. Mm -hmm. 
And it's funny how you see how I'm more like talkative about Dead Side compared to World War Three. <laughs> Cause there's, there's just more so much going more. on. There's more going, yeah, there's on. More going on. on for sure, man. Like we have the uh, weapon recoil update coming out soon. Like, That's but, neat. um, they have, they have a health and like, they have a health system. They have a food and water system. And by that, I mean, it's just like canned food and sodas. They don't even have water in the game. It's just like sodas. Um, and it's very basic. It's just, if you're hungry, you eat, if you're thirsty, you drink and that's it. There's no, like, it's not like games where like Daisy, you gotta, you know, transfer blood into somebody. If you transfer the wrong blood type, they can die, you know, or if it's like scum where you gotta do three different things just to make one bandage, you know, like, and that's why you see, I see, I have, I have rags, I have alcohol. I can combine them, make sterilized rags. Easy. Yeah, it, it, it I did like mm-hmm. that. It was a lot more straightforward. It wasn't near as complicated. So I feel like it's a lot more accessible where you could just kind of get into it and start playing, and figure it out as you go. Yeah. And I'll have to Google everything to figure out what the hell you're doing. <laughs> so no, I want to ch- make you watch a diet more. Like, so scum is so just like now they're going to add like you can overdose on vitamins and shit like that. Like, come on, uh, man. Like, that's, I'm not, it's not, that's not for me. The game is not for me. Too I much vitamin, gonna... vitamin D three. Just... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> liver starts to shut down. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna add that to Tarkov. Dude, like... I think they're doing that to Tarkov, where you can start to get addicted to the injectors and like have to buy them to make the trippers go away. Like, get addicted to. Them. Them that. <laughs> so yeah, it's interesting. I think there's definitely a place for something that's a little more accessible, but still gives you that that gameplay loop and excitement. And I, I'm really going to lean on the boys to re-download this and try it again. Got me excited about it. Mm-hmm. Dude, man, they just, I was just showcasing that video. They up uh, on the screen, they they upload, they updated uh, pistol animations. So, like, it just seems a lot more crisp and, and you can, it feels like the weapon has weight to it. Yeah. Especially when you, like, when you release a slide and stuff like that. That's cool. It looked mm-hmm. good, too. Yeah, it looks cool. Mm-hmm. But anyway, oh, before, did you want to talk about Arma too much uh, before we move into kind of like the news stuff? 